setting up a Facebook fan page for your store. Okay, so first thing you're gonna have to do right here is um, is your store a general store or a niche store? And store. But that's the first thing you wanna determine. Is it a general store or is it a niche store when you're building your fan page? Okay, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to consider is, or consider is this. Um, you can create unlimited fan pages, but not too fast. Um, Facebook um, will stop you if you are going too fast. They will put you in what we call Facebook jail. It's not really a real thing, but it kind of is. Facebook jail and block your account. Okay? So you need to consider that this can take weeks sometimes to get back to creating pages. Okay. Um, then we're going to put block your uh, page creation account or page management, page manager account. It's not like they're going to block your personal Facebook, but listen, there's a general rule of thumb when it comes to Facebook. Don't go too fast. Okay, if you go too fast on Facebook, uh, Facebook has to do their best. Um, let me like write this down. Like Facebook has to identify if computer programs are being used or if it's a real person. So don't go too fast or you look like a bot. You look like a computer. So what I mean is like don't go creating like 10 pages a day, okay? Could just create them as needed and you should be fine. I have hundreds and hundreds of pages. So again, you can create unlimited pages. And there's a couple uh, rules of thumb here we want to do as well. Okay, uh, rules of thumb. Um, general store should be one one fan page. Each niche store have their own fan page. Okay? Combine fan pages by niche topic as specific as you want. What this means is that when you're building out fan pages, you might have like two Shopify stores that are maybe both related to dogs. Okay, maybe you have one for pit bulls and one for Rottweilers. Maybe you're getting very, very niche specific. One for pit bulls, one for Rottweilers. So they're both having to do with dogs. But you might only need one Facebook fan page that says, like, I love dogs or I love big dogs or whatever it is. You might have one fan page about dogs. So you're really looking to kind of break combined fan pages by niche topic. Okay? Another one you want to do here is you want to reverse engineer by looking at other fan pages first. Okay? Find good fan pages to model after. So there's a few different ways to be able to do this. So let's go over here to Facebook. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here when you go over to Facebook is you want to start looking at, do some research and start looking at some fan pages. So let's just go in here and say like dog lovers, okay, dog lover. And you'll notice there's different things that get pulled up here, right? You got some search results, then you've got like some groups, you know, communities, da 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 da, da community, community, then you got, um, Website, community, da, da, da. So just go down here. See all results for Dog Lover. And you'll notice that you can see all kinds of stuff. You can see pages. You can see photos. You can see places, groups. What you're really looking for is pages. Okay? So you can either click See More or you can go up here to Pages. It doesn't really matter. And so now what it's doing is you typed in the word Dog Lover and it's bringing up a lot of relevant pages. Now there's lots and lots of ways to do research. I'm just showing you a couple. Um, I don't think we have hours to show you all the different ways to do research. But what you're essentially looking for is you're, you're really just kind of looking for um, a page really where people are selling something or at least branding very, very well. So you can kind of go through. Um, let's, just, let's just go through and look at a lot of these four examples, okay? Let's just look at these four right here. And you'll be able to tell, are these like general community pages? Are these people that are trying to sell something? So let's kind of glance around and let's look at it. So right here, they've got a, a profile picture and a cover photo. This is the general makeup of a page. You've got a name a profile picture, a cover photo, and then if you want, you can even get your own like shortcut link. So this one is facebook.com slash i.love.dogs.in, okay? Um, and they're from Seattle, Washington. You know, you can see kind of all this kind of stuff. They've got videos that they're posting here. They've got posts, and so you can kind of look through. You can kind of start to see a little bit about them, okay? They've, they've got a lot of fans. Click to help Sandy. So um, they've got some links that they're kind of posting about. Um, it looks like they're really like supporting like dogs that have been abandoned. Um, 
you know, maybe they're really, they're, we'll kind of go through and kind of look at what they're doing here, but they're look, literally using it as an awareness, but notice they're posting a lot of things from littlethings.com. So again, littlethings.com. So either right off the bat, we know either littlethings.com is, is either the website that kind of sponsors this or owns it, or they made some sort of a deal. Like Dog Lovers International maybe either made a deal from Little Things or maybe they own it or they're friends or whatever it is because they're posting a lot of content there, littlethings.com. So again, they're using this as they built a large, so right off the bat we can see they built a large fan page to draw a lot of attention to this littlethings.com um, to be able to build this out. So you start to see a lot of blog posts. That's really what this is. And it's getting a lot of traction. Now these are all today. Okay, now here's another one, Honest to Pause. And so look, there's just a lot of activity here, Honest to Pause. And so you can kind of learn to kind of see, okay, um, how uh, here's an animal rescue, blogs.animalrescue site, honest to pause. So you start to see, okay, they're posting a lot of stuff here. And so you kind of look about this. Now, they also have a Shop Now link. That's another thing worth kind of glancing at. Shop to feed shelter animals. You can see all kinds of stuff that they have here. Um, you know, they've got basically, it looks like they're using a Greater Good site. When you click this, you can see Greater Good in the URL. So they've built a Greater Good site to kind of raise awareness. Instead of Shopify, they're using Greater Good, and you kind of learn a little bit about it. So it's just the very first page we, we looked at. They've got a big fan page, a lot of, um, they've got a big fan page with a lot of fans, okay, four million fans. They've also obviously built this thing up. Um, they're obviously promoting um, their blog posts, they're getting traffic to blogs, and they're selling stuff. So here's, here's a page. Now you can also kind of get an idea for how to build it. So let's just go to the next one. Okay, here's another big page, okay. This one right here, they got uh, digitalf5.com as a website, um, 779,000. Um, they got a lot of pictures. They've got reviews that people are, are posting here. Um, you know, click here to participate. Um, this, your dog could be parts, your dog could be featured in a calendar. Um, so they're kind of doing some stuff there. Again, um, you know, your, your dog could be featured in the calendar. So they're really promoting this pet calendar uh, promotion right here. Um, so we can go ahead and click on it and kind of see what they're promoting. So what I'm doing is I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but you can kind of see how other people are, um, what they're using their fan pages for. So you've got to get a good understanding of fan pages by reverse engineering. And that's really what I do is I go through and I find fan pages. Now, there's a lot. We're only showing you a few. So right now, they're really going into this pet calendar. You can scroll down. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you know, your active participation can help you. So they've got this whole participation thing that they're really driving a lot of their traffic to, a lot of their attention to. And you see they get a lot of good engagement because they have a lot of fans. Okay, so you start to see, right? Essentially what you're doing is you start with something like a generic search in your niche, dog lovers, and like look at all, the, all of these stuff. Now what you're really looking to do is you're looking to get in here and try to find um, pages that you can model after, right? So let's like look at this one here, dog lovers with a dog's paw print. And you kind of look, again, generic. They've got their, their little dog logo. They put their dog logo there. They've got a couple pictures of dogs, 84,000. And then here we go, like, you know, um, they've got links in their videos. And so here they're going to a website, they're driving traffic, and they're driving traffic to um, controversial stories. There's a controversial story right there. So you can kind of look to see what people are doing. So they're uh, promoting their website, they're promoting tons of pictures, tons of memes. This gives you an idea of how to be able to structure a, a fan page. So this is really what you want to do. Get into your niche and look, they're, they're bringing controversial videos. Man gets 99 years in jail for pit bull abuse. Um, and then here, a pit bull saves a woman. So what they're doing is they're really doing supportive stuff for dogs, and they're driving a lot of action there. So you start to learn about that. Now, let's go to another section. Let's go to pit bull lover. So now, instead of, um, instead of dog lovers, let's get a little bit more specific. Let's do pit bull lovers. And now you got a few more of these. Um, let's go through a couple of these really quick and show you. And this is how you start diving in a little bit these niches. Now, find pages 897 is not really as much to model after, but you want to model after some good pages. At least find something with thousands of likes and maybe go through a few of these. Okay, uh, we'll go through these. Now, we're just going to kind of browse through. We're going to kind of take a look at what they have. Again, generic picture, name. This one is all pit bull stories, pit bull lovers, and nothing else. So they're really branding this niche of pit bulls. They've got pictures. Again, they've got memes. They've got cute pictures right here. Um, and then look at this. We found somebody who's selling something. So want this, grab it now. My pit bull is my doorbell. Okay, creative design there, 1.7 thousand likes. So you start to realize how to be able to structure this. Want this, grab it now. You can kind of see what they're doing. It looks like they um, are going to a, you know, they're going to sell a print on demand t-shirt here. 
So you're looking at basically how they're setting this up. Print on demand t-shirt. They've got their own design they've uploaded. And you know, we teach print on demand a lot. Um, so here you go. Here's an example of how to be able to market something. And then here, in between their actual sales posts, they're also coming in here and they're, um, they're putting in memes. So they're putting in memes, another meme, um, another meme. And so see, in between the times when they post sales stuff. Now, there might be a lot of selling going on behind the scenes too. They don't have to post everything to their page. Cute pictures, 3.4 thousand likes. So see, what they've done, and this is, this, is the, this is why I'm spending so much time showing you this. A lot of people, um, a lot of people set this up wrong. A lot of people get too specific here, okay? Notice this is a generic page, okay? Generic, 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 allowing them to sell all kinds of generic pit bull stuff and allowing them to post generic pit bull content. Keep your stuff generic, you guys. This is not, you don't need to go and brand yourself too much. Keep it very, very generic because people are not necessarily going to like a page called, um, you know, let's say um, Chris Records Pit Bull Service, you know. They're not going to like a page called Chris Record Pitbull Service because now they have to think whether or not they like it. Is Chris Record a good person? Do they even know Chris Record? Anything like that? So P Chris Record's Pitbull Service is not going to do as well as Pitbull Lovers. Now, people can like this. Are you a Pitbull Lover? If so, like this page. So it's a lot easier to be able to create a lot of likes, which is why you'll notice they got you know, 300,000 likes. Okay, so you can start to reverse engineer this. You can go over to their photos and you can start to see, um, as you scroll through, you can start to see all kinds of timeline photos here. You can see, okay, there's a product. You can see all kinds of cool stuff. There's another product that they're promoting here. You know, love it, get it here. You don't have to worry about my pit bull. You have to worry about this crazy pit bull mom if you mess with my baby. And so they got a picture there. You can kind of scroll through. You can see another one. See how they're using a template here? He sees you when you're eating. He knows when you've got treats. You got a pit bull in there. And, you know, you kind of, you kind of just see all kinds of cool stuff that they have. You know, and you notice all these kind of cool setups that they have. So that's that's really it. You go and you reverse engineer. So let's get off that page. And then you notice here's another one. So they're giving away a free cheat sheet from Loving Your Pit Bulls. They're branding themselves. Same kind of thing. They're giving away cool stuff. Um, they post lots of pictures. So you get an idea for how to run a page. That's the main thing you want to do. Before starting one, get an idea for how to run one. Get an idea for how to be able to make these pages good. Get an idea for what kind of posts get a lot of traction. Which posts get a lot of like, which ones don't. Okay, so like something like this, an awesome picture, um, you know, of a pit bull licking a baby. Now that's that's going to get if if you have a page positive about pit bulls, you know, that's going to get a lot of support. Painting pit bulls in a nice way, you know, showing that they're not as dangerous as everybody thinks they are. Okay, so you start to see what works. You start to learn a lot about this pit bull lover. You start to learn viral videos, pit bulls with a cat, their best friends forever, cute pictures, fun pictures, more cute pictures. So see, you start to see what people are posting. You can start to see what, go through and see what kind of, what's getting a lot of engagement. So now you've done some research, okay? Now that you've done some research, it's time to go in and actually set up a fan page. So after you've done research and decided kind of what you want to do, say, I want to do something like this for my niche, you know? So you want to go in here and you want to choose, you know, is your store a general store or a niche store, okay? Let's do both really quick. So let's go over here. When you're here on this page on Facebook, you can go up here to the top right and just go here to create a page. Okay, drop down menu, go to create a page. And if you can't find that, it's literally as simple as going to Google and just type in create Facebook page. Okay, and there's a lot of information, but you can go right there, create a page, you know, Facebook page is created, it takes you right there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're probably going to do a brand or product, and then choose your category, and you're going to choose what kind of niche, um, you know, what general niche category are you in. You know, maybe you're in the furniture niche. And maybe let's just do a, a, a specific niche. Let's call let's call our thing. Um, let's do this. Let's let's use uh, let's let's do a different niche besides um, pit bulls. Let me do something fun. Let's go. Let's do the man cave niche. I want to I want to have a Shopify store that sells a bunch of stuff that um, that sells man cave products. So I could just grab a name really quick. Let's just go look at one. I go to lean domain search. Type in man cave. Starts with the search term. Um, let's just grab one real quick. Let's go man cave. Let's look for a cool one. Man cave portal. Okay. So just like that, that dot com is available. So let's just pretend that I'm buying it. Okay. Um, so let's just type it man cave portal. Okay. Now, um, you know, you could really go in and I'm, I'm just grabbing a quick one, but you could go in and maybe find one that's a little bit cooler. What you're doing is you're trying to think of things. What would people like? What's a name in here that someone would like? That's really um, in fact, maybe even let me grab this one instead. Man Cave Expert. That's probably a little bit more something people would like. So now my fan page is going to be all about 
stuff for your man cave. Okay, it's going to be in the furniture department. It's going to be stuff all for your man cave. Um, and I'm going to target men with this page, and I'm going to find people who uh, I'm going to sell them man-related stuff. So tell me what your page is about. This is a very simple section. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you currently have a man cave at your house, or you are looking to design one, use this page for your man cave inspiration, man cave, um, man cave inspiration products, and do it yourself and do it yourself tips. Okay, and then your website would be, you know, the website you spot, man cave expert. Dot com. Okay, mancaveexpert.com. Save info. Okay, now you're looking for a picture, um, profile picture, and you're also going to do a um, cover photo. Now, there's a few ways to do this. I, I in, a, in a previous um, tutorial, um, I went over here and I actually talked um, already about this. So I have a tutorial here on designing your Shopify store graphics. So this is where you design the cover photo and the profile photo for your um, you do the, use the same exact design tools to be able to design them for your fan page. So for the time being, I'm just going to make it very, very basic. Let's just go over here to Google, and let's just do a search for man cave. And I'm looking for a square photo for my profile photo, and I'm looking for, um, and I'm just looking for something that could jump out if it was small. You know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go, I'll just, I'll just zoom out. So I'm just doing the zoom button here. I'll zoom um, to get to get really small because this is how people are going to see it. You know, this is how people are going to see it when they're on Facebook. It's going to be tidy. So right off the bat, out of all of these images, this one here jumps out at me. Welcome to the man cave. And I could read it and everything. Okay. So let's just view that image right there. Let's save this image as welcome to the man cave. And I could always replace this with a, with a custom image later. Now I'm going to upload this from my computer. Welcome to the man cave. We're going to let that thing load in. And then we're going to save it as soon as it goes in. So literally what you're doing is you're basically designing a temporary profile picture and a temporary you're going through so you've done the about section and you're doing a profile picture and you're going to do temporary you can replace it later but that's a general tip just look at something there now do you want to add it to your favorites if you're if you're designing a page you're going to be using often just click this button here okay man cave expert okay otherwise uh, if you have a lot of pages just skip okay now preferred page audience you're definitely going to skip this you're not going to use that facebook ads um, that's not what you want to do. Your audience is going to build naturally, okay? So just right here in a couple minutes, we've got a name, Man Cave Expert, and we've got Welcome to the Man Cave right here, and now it's time for us to add a cover photo. So now let's go back, um, and now let's go ahead and, and reset this um, back to a regular view. Now I'm looking for more of a rectangle picture, something that I just think looks looks really, really cool, something that looks classy, whatever. Um, you know, 50 best Man Caves ideas. Let's just use this one. Um, man Cave arcade room okay um, just using I'm just grabbing a random one so let's go over here and add a cover photo upload photo man cave arcade room and now you're going to be able to drag it up and down to get it looking just right okay so you can go up up like this or down like this you see that doesn't look as good that looks okay but if you kind of get a little bit of everything I think it looks really good so just like that okay now again you can actually go into canva and you can actually design this that's in the design tutorial I'll actually show you how to do this a lot more okay so just like that I'll save and write just right off the bat, now I have a I have a niche fan page for Welcome to the Man Cave, Man Cave Expert. You know, I've got um, and this could even be I could do a different graphic that says Man Cave Expert, and that might even be better. And then take that and make it um, transparent. And I could put it on a logo, Man Cave Expert. Just cool ideas. Okay. Now, now that I have a page, what I want to do is I want to fill the page with some content. See, there's nothing here. There's literally just a picture here. I want to fill the page with some content. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go to Google, and I'm going to try to find um, maybe like five links and five um, pictures just to be able to do it. So let's just do man cave ideas. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with maybe like five links. I don't care what sites they are. Okay. Here's a thousand ideas about man cave on Pinterest. So I'm going to use this to maybe find some pictures. You know, there's really cool ideas here of different kinds of stuff. You can kind of see if anything um, stands out as something that you think would be, you know, if you're in the niche, what do you think would be cool? You know, um, you know, you can kind of look at this. Now, of course, you're going to have products that you're going to eventually do as well. So you're going to go to go through your another thousands. So we're not going to take the time to do that, but that's what you can do. Pinterest gave you a lot of ideas. Now, how about this one? 119 ultimate man cave ideas. Okay. So you're going to take these sites like this. 
119 man cave ideas, furniture, signs, and decor. You're going to copy the URL, and then you're going to go back to your fan page, and you're going to post it here, and it's going to auto-populate for you. See what just happened? It just, I took, I just pasted the link, and it auto-found a thumbnail, a title, and a description. Now I'm going to erase the link, okay? Now I'm going to write something about this if I want. 119 ultimate man cave ideas, man cave ideas for your garage, bar, share. I'm maybe going to copy that, click on that, copy that. You know, I'll go like, you know, here are some man cave ideas for your garage, bar, shed, or basement. Boom. So now I've got a post. Somebody else's content, but I've got a post. Now watch, publish. Now my page looks like it's not just a brand new page. It now has a page, now has a post. Here are some man cave ideas. Now, I could even back backdate this post, okay? There's lots of things you can do. When you go to actually schedule your posts, you can even backdate them. So if I want to create like 10 posts like this, I can backdate them so it looks like they've been going for like the last 10 days or something like that. So you want to basically, your goal is to, to make it look like this page has been around for a while, but you want to do it very, very, very simple, very fast. So let's grab a couple more really quick. Um, so I'll usually do like a post and then picture. So let's go man cave ideas. Now let's go to images. And let's just look for a cool image. Same kind of thing, right? You're looking for like a really cool image. Um, you know, something like this maybe. Visit page that, that the image is on. And small man cave ideas, furniture ideas for the ultimate man cave. And you can kind of grab like some pictures off here and say something about it. You know, so there's a there's a cool room, a poker table room. You go through and you can find some pictures. Anything You don't want to spend too much time. I'm really just explaining it to you. But you're really just trying to find some pictures of things that... Um, that you like, like maybe this picture here with the deer, you could go into, um, you know, explain like a great um, man cave idea for hunters, um, arcade games, you know, different kind of, just different kind of cool things, you know, so you can really do a lot. Let's go like home movie theater ideas, you know, you go there and you go to images there. So really what you're looking to do is just grab some images, post about them on your page, um, you know, find something that you like. Find something that you think would be creative. I mean, if you're in the niche, you might as well do something that you think is awesome as well. And then you could also do like do-it-yourself man cave ideas. These are things that people can do themselves. So you can sell stuff, okay? 29 man cave ideas. Visit page. And so you can get ideas from here too. So what you're doing is you're grabbing other people's content and you're posting them. So same thing here, 29 incredibly... 29 incredible man cave ideas on a budget. So watch, watch this one. Save image as uh, man cave. Let's do 29 man cave ideas. Okay, 29 man cave ideas. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to upload that as a photo. And now we have 29 man cave ideas as a photo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to link this. Go right there. We're going to link this and, and go. Um, let's actually just grab this description. Let's go ahead and post it right there. And now we're going to give them the link. So now what we're doing is we have a page right off the bat. And now we're going to publish this. Okay? So now look how this, watch how this looks. 29 incredible man cave ideas on a budget. Link, who among us doesn't find himself daydreaming about having a man cave one day? Boom. And we've got this picture here. Now this is a picture and this is a, this is a link. Okay? This is a picture. When they click on this one, it just goes to the picture. When they click on this one, it goes to the actual page, the link. It actually takes them off to another site. So now what you're doing is you're mixing it up. You've got picture, you've got a link, and now maybe another kind of cool thing you could do is grab videos. Okay, so you can go over to like maybe YouTube or something like that, and then do it like type in like man cave. And you can go through and start finding something. The official man cave tour. Okay, there's lots of things you could do here. So now you can grab this link right here, this YouTube link, um, and you can post it. See how it auto populates the official man cave tour. Um, check out this video tour of this amazing man cave. Okay, publish that. So you post the link and then you erase it, right? So now, now what do you have? Now you have a link, you have a picture, you have a YouTube video, and if you can find like a generic video, you could even download it yourself. You know, so maybe you can find a, a video that's not branded, just like a generic video, and find something cool, something that's not not branded. You can usually tell when you click on it. You can tell does it start off with logos, just a man cave, a little bit. So this one probably starts with logos and stuff like that. 
man cave. Uh, so maybe I'll do do it yourself. Uh, and here's another one: top ten man cave must haves. So here's another cool video right here: top ten man caves must haves. So you can do the same kind of stuff now. If you feel like you can actually download, if it's a generic enough video, it's not branded, you can actually download a video and upload it as a Facebook video, and that would be really cool too for your fan page. So what you're doing is you're mixing up content. What you're doing is you're doing, you're posting links, you're posting pictures, you're posting YouTube videos, and then you're even gonna upload um, videos here as well, okay? You're gonna actually upload a, a video or photo right here, you're gonna upload it. Um, and you're gonna be able to find, you gotta find generic man cave uh, videos if you wanna do that one. So. Man cave ideas, just find like somebody's like iPhone video, literally, literally something without a fancy thumbnail. Um, something super simple. Let's see, just as an example. Like this one. Do it yourself decoration ideas for men. Pretty generic, right? So then you could download this video to your computer and you could upload this and now you got a video. So essentially what you're doing is you're filling your page with content, but you don't want to spend too much time. You want to spend just enough time to be able to fill it and just enough time to be able to um, get some content on here. Okay, now that you have content on here, you go through and you, you basically want to do a couple other things, okay? Welcome to the man cave, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to go into your settings for the page right here, and this is the generic stuff that you're going to want to know about this um, page. You're going to want to go through and just go through each one of these. There's no, I don't need to go through, how I learned was I just went through all these. Let's make sure, okay? Um, page published. Yes, I want to make sure my page is published, right? Um, reviews are turned off. Yeah, turn them off unless you're trying to do a branded page. You know, visitor posts. Can anyone publish to the page? So what I might want to do is I might want to go in here, uh, allow visitors to um, allow photos and video posts. Maybe I don't want to have that, okay? So I can save. So you can go in here and you can set up your page just the way you want. Can people contact you? Yes, right? So you, you start looking at like all this different stuff that's going on. Okay, if, if you have profanity and stuff happening in the comments, you can go ahead and turn off that profanity, um, all kinds of stuff. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over to page roles, and then you can go ahead and, and, and once your page starts going big, you can assign um, somebody to be able to work on your page. You can assign them as an admin, which gives them full uh, stuff, an editor, which allows them to make posts, a moderator, and you can see each one of these. So click on moderator. This person can send messages as the page, it can respond to and delete comments, so it can manage the comments. It can create ads for your page, and it can see which admin was the one that created a poster comment. It can also view insights, and it can respond to Instagram comments. So this person here can really, um, can basically manage your messages and, and, and administrate your comments. So this is, this moderator, you're gonna want, once your page starts blowing up and you get, you know, thousands and thousands of, of likes and shares and comments and everything going on, at some point, you might want to have somebody be a moderator. So you can either get a friend or a family member or get a virtual assistant. So you would add them here, and then you would give them a page roll. Okay? So stuff like that. Okay? Um, there's just really cool stuff. Messaging. You can go over here to messaging, and you can actually choose um, to be able to have, like, an automatic message. Send an instant reply to anybody who messages your page. So you can click yes, and you can go ahead, and you can make, like, an, an instant message when somebody contacts your page. You know, thanks for contacting the man cave expert. We will reply as soon as we can. For now, please, um, uh, you know, please visit our website at http mancaveexpert.com for cool products and do-it-yourself ideas. Okay. You can um, you can you can like promote stuff like this. You give them automatic response. Also, if it's a support related question, contact support at mancaveexpert.com. Okay, or whatever. You know, we could take out that also because I ran out of I ran out of space. If it's a support related question contact mancaveexpert.com so you can go to like GoDaddy and you get to send up a set up a basic email address with GoDaddy something like that now it kind of shows you what's going to happen right here it's going to show you what it's going to look like so you're going to be able to give people an instant reply when they contact you on the page so they get something instant so at least you're you're promoting especially if you have like a special deal or something okay and then you can also have um, and then you could have a virtual assistant get back or whatever so there's just stuff you should do you should go through here you should go through and you should like check out what kind of stuff you can do with your page okay Get yourself um, familiar with it. This is where you're gonna check messages, 
This is where you're going to view insights, stuff like that. Okay, publishing tools. This is where you're going to go and you're going to be able to manage your page and be able to manage stuff. You can schedule posts. You can publish posts. This is where you're going to be able to see what kind of traffic you're getting, all kinds of stuff. You're able to see your insights. So you're going to be able to see which posts are, are doing the best, which ones are performing, stuff like that. So you really just kind of get familiar with this. So what you have here is you have a profile picture, a cover photo, a name. Um, you have all of this kind of stuff here. Um, look at awesome tutorial. Somebody just uh, kind of did that. You have the ability to be able to go through here and be able to make posts and, and, and stuff like that. Now, once you're done with all of this, now you have a fan page, so now you can place ads to it. Okay? That's why you're creating a fan page. You cannot place Facebook ads without one. So now we have a man cave fan page. We have a man cave site. So now let's talk about um, going and placing an ad to it. So how to place your very first Facebook ad. So again, must have a fan page uh, to be able to place ads. Okay, you can, um, you should start with Facebook Ads Manager before Power Editor. It's easier for beginners. Focus on making your first sale. Okay, so don't get don't get too caught up. Okay, um, simplest way to start is a picture post. Simplest way to start is a picture post, but we will cover a few different types. Okay, let's cover picture posts, video posts, link posts, offer posts, and then we'll cover maybe published versus unpublished. Okay, so um, let's just kind of dive into this and let's see how much we can cover really quick. Okay, we'll just do our best to keep, keep covering a bunch of stuff. So let's erase a few of these tabs. Okay, so here we are on the page. So when you publish something here, this is going to show up um, as a published post, okay? You can either schedule it to post some time, you can backdate it, uh, you can save it as a draft, right? So, so or, you know, you can basically do certain things right here, but this is going to show up on your page. If you want it to be unpublished, um, there's a way to do that, and we're going to cover the difference between that. But when you're first starting out, just do it published. So when would you want to do what's called an unpublished post or a dark post? Once your page starts getting popular, if you have a product that you don't want people to easily reverse engineer, you might not want it available here, right? Remember when we started looking at pitbull lovers, we could easily find products. We could just even go to like photos and we could easily see if they were selling a product just like this. And then there you go. Like we can see that what exactly what products they're selling because these are all published on their page, right? So when somebody has um, their stuff published, um, it's a little bit easier to find, but it doesn't matter. I do this all the time. Who cares? When you're first starting out, just do published posts, and then in the future, you can do unpublished posts. So there's a, a couple different types, right? Um, you can publish a, um, a link, okay, a, a link to a product. So let's look what that would look like. Let's go find a product right now. Let's go to Google. Let's do this search, site.myshopify.com slash man cave. Okay, I've taught this in previous modules, so we're going fast with it. So here's a bunch of sites um, that have to do with man, pave, man caves that are on my, uh, my Shopify, right? So just kind of cool stuff. Let's just go look at a random one. Let's see if there's any of these. Okay, sweet man cave company. Okay, so just like this, they have a catalog of products. And let's say they're trying to sell one. Um, da -da. I don't even really see anything here having to do with man cave. So I'm going to go back to another one. <clears throat> let's go back to another site. Let's go here to... Um, Let's go, let's type in maybe a better search. Man cave wall poster, something like that. Let's see. Um, and let's just look for a direct product link. Sorry, that shop's not available. Sorry. Boom, let's try to find this one. That page is not available. Wow. Our stuff is maybe I'll go over here to tools and search in the last month and see if we can find something better. Okay. Let's see. Minimalist. Um, I'll search a little bit better than that. Let's do this past year. Okay, retro posters. Let's maybe find something. Ah, look at all these people that have not paid their Shopify bills. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to send you some, trying to give you some advertisement here. Okay, here's some cool wall decor. So maybe I could find something here that's man cave is esque and link directly to it. Um, looks like too much work. I'm gonna go ahead and find a better one. Man cave ideas, man cave collection. Okay, here we go. Um, let's look for something here. Okay, of all these things, maybe. Let's see, anything jumping out at us? How about this one? Okay, so here's a product. Let's say this was your site, your man cave expert site. You can go find a canvas, an art canvas with a car decoration on it. This might be great for a man cave, okay? It's 50 bucks, that's what they're charging. Um, 
they're probably getting it for a lot less by 15 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever. So this, this link right here, there's a few different ways to be able to promote this as a product. You can promote this picture. So let's save the image as, and let's do, um, let's do uh, car canvas. Let's just save it as, I don't know, let's say car canvas picture. So you can save it as a picture. You can save it as a link. Okay. So um, let's first, let's go in and post it as a picture. Upload it as a photo, car canvas picture. Um, uh, and then you put some sort of a description with a link to do it. Um, would you rock this? What was it like a Bugatti? I don't even know. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas? I didn't even pay attention. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas um, in your man cave? Um, and let's do like chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti? Tag if, uh, you know, say something like, uh, get it here. Chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti man canvas in your man cave? Get it here. And then you can put a link to it. Now, notice this link. Look at how long this link is, okay? So look at how long that link is. That just doesn't look good, right? So what? first things first, you should you should map a domain name to your store, okay? First things first. Second thing. When you're, when you're creating products in your store, you should shorten the URL so they're shortened, so they're a lot shorter. But all that being said, there's another way, okay? What you can do is you can go over here to uh, Bitly, okay? And by the way, we're in the process of creating a URL shortener app right inside of your store to be able to make this a lot, a lot better. Uh, but you can go over here to, to Bitly, paste your long URL there, and it creates a short one. Then you can customize this, um, Bugatti poster, and then save. Okay, I hope that's a Bugatti. I'm doing all this work and it might not even be a Bugatti. Um, and now, instead of this long link, look, get it here. Okay, now if you want, you can even repeat that twice so it's very, very visible. Get it here, get it here. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas in your man cave? Get it here. And if you and you might want to draw maybe even an arrow like that, just to maybe even draw a little more attention to it. Get it here, get it here. Okay, so um, this right here is an example of a, of a, of a simple picture post. And let's do that. Let's publish that one. So now you have, um, you know, look at this. Look how it looks, right? So now you have, um, you've got your Man Cave Expert page. You're, you're building up a lot of cool content. And now you've got a nice picture. And this picture sells something, okay? So now you've got the ability, this is called a picture post, okay? So we're talking about a picture post right here. So what this does is this basically is just a picture. When people come on it, all they see is a picture. But this does well for engagement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to boost this post and try to get some engagement on it. Okay. But I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad going to this. Okay. But before we do, I'm going to also create another version of this post. Okay. So um, the next version I want to create is a link post. So what happens if I take the same link and just post it as a link, no picture. Okay. So I can now do a link post. Now, it pulled up a kind of a bad link. That uh, It looks like that site didn't automatically pull up a good link. Let's try it again. Let's go, um, let's refresh. For whatever reason, this page is not pulling up a good image when I post this long link. There it is. Okay, now this is a link post. See how it still has the picture a little bit there? Okay, it still has it. So it's not bad. So what I did was I just pasted this long link. It auto-populated this um this, this picture, title, and description. Now, I don't like that description at all. It just doesn't look good at all. So I would say something like here, like, would you rock this Bugatti art canvas in your man cave? Check it out, okay, something like that. So that's a little bit better maybe of a, of a description. Art canvas car decoration for living room prints on frames. I'm gonna probably do something better than that too. Click on it, Bugatti art canvas um, man cave expert, okay? Something like that. Bugatti art canvas, man cave expert. Would you rock this Bugatti art canvas in your man cave? Check it out. So this is called a link post. Now, if they click on this, it's actually going to go. It's going to get a little bit less engagement, but it's going to get more clicks. So then now that you've used that, you can erase that. So now you got to put a description here. You could actually do, I'll, I'll just use the same, um, the same description here, just so we can save time. You can put in a new one. But now I've got the same kind of a post, but this time it's a link post. So this is a link post, and this is a picture post. So you see the difference? Um, now, there's a few things that I can do here, but you just see the difference, right? I'm just 
giving you like the basics of it, okay? So let's publish that. What I've essentially got is I've got a link post and I've got a picture post and I could even do a video post um, if I wanted. So what is the difference? Now for this one, for this one, what, what's going to happen is people are going to maybe like this. Like a lot of people that like, if I get the right man cave audience and I get the right Bugatti audience and stuff like that, I can target people that might be interested in this. Okay. And then um, over here, um, this one's a little bit more of like a, just directly trying to sell this thing. Okay. So this is more like when they click on this, it's going to take them right to the page to be able to buy this. Okay. So that's an example. This is just an example of, of how to be able to do it. There's lots of ways to do this. Now I've got two posts. So now that you've got two posts, you're going to log in your Facebook ads account. Okay, I've just got a little shortcut link here. Log into my Facebook ads account. And now let me show you about placing um, a couple of types of ads. Again, we're going to show, um, I showed you a picture post. Um, I showed you a link post. I didn't show you a video post or offer post yet, but I at least showed you these. Maybe I'll, um, let's see. And I showed you publish and then publish. So I'll maybe come back to show you those. Um, okay, let's just keep going. So when you log into Ads Manager, it says choose your objective. Okay, you can if you have, if it's a video post, you can get video views as your objective. If it is a um, if it's a Facebook offer, like maybe a free plus shipping offer or something like that, you can get people to claim your offer right here. So an offer ad would be get people to claim your offer, and let's call this um, campaign name free plus shipping Bugatti poster. Now of course this product won't qualify for free plus shipping. It's not it's too expensive. But this is just an example. I would go to an offer claim. And I would press continue, and then I would go in here and I'd start creating it. Okay, I would start, you know, I would I would start creating my my offers right here. Okay, now if it defaults to create multiple ad sets, you might have to click here, create new ad set. You want to make sure it's right there. Um, but the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a Facebook fan page, and right here you can have hundreds of them. I mean, you see I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, right? So you're gonna to want to come in here and, and choose a fan page. Let's go ahead and choose uh, Man Cave, and it should pop right up. Just like typing it in. And then I've got man cave right there, and then I can create an offer. And so this is how you would create an offer for it. This would be like, you know, um, whatever kind of offer you want to create, these are these offer ads. And these work pretty well. So you could decide, okay, buy one, free stuff, let's do free stuff. Um, and then it says free shipping with purchase. So you can do all kinds of stuff here. And you can, if you don't know what each one of these does, just go like this. Go like, this is what I did when I first started. A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 C. D, 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 okay, one, 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 one. Okay, and then there's advanced options underneath that. So you can kind of see A, 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 so you can kind of like mess with these, right? So now I can kind of just go in here. Okay, what's my offer title going to be? Um, you know, uh, get this Bugatti canvas free, just pay, just pay shipping. Okay, boom. So now I've got an offer. Okay, and then for details, that's going to be down here, BBB, details. Um, for a limited time, we are giving um, the next 100 man cave expert fans um, this Bugatti canvas art for free. Just pay, the, uh, just pay S and H. Okay, so it's something like that. Okay, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this is the best copywriting. You guys get. You guys get that I'm just live right now on, on a thing, right? Just serving some value up. And then you can choose an end day, end time, whatever. Expi offer expires. You can always go in and edit that, but you have to keep an eye on it. So right now it's December 21st, so it automatically expires a week later. You got to keep an eye on this. If you're keeping a good eye on it, then you could basically, you can go in and do expires 22nd and just keep changing it um, another day. But if, if not, you know, whatever, just make it like that. Where can people redeem it online? Online offer URL. Now this is going to be the link to your, um, you know, you're going to basically make like, uh, you're going to make like a separate tracking link for this one, but it would be something along the lines of this. You would basically make, make a link, um, but you're going to want to make sure that you track it so you know everybody that's coming from this. So you can always make a different Bitly link. Um, but there you go. I've just got, it's going to basically, when people click this offer, it's going to go there. Okay, total number of offers available, maybe like 97 left. Okay, so there we go. I've got I've got this this whole thing kind of coming together, right? So here's my ad coming together. Um, terms and conditions. I can basically terms and conditions. I might want to put something in there, but I'm not going to go into this right now. Um, you know, so I'll just do some basic ones. You might want to go a little bit more complicated here. Terms and conditions. Um, this offer may expire at any time. 
we reserve the right to end this promotion at any time without notice. We also reserve the right to extend this offer without notice. Um, customers must pay for shipping and handling of the free product. Offer only valid in the United States, whatever. You guys, I'm giving you like an example. Okay? Um, for more details, contact support at mancaveexpert.com. Okay, just like that. So you're kind of starting to get, and then you can see kind of a notification example. Somebody's going to say, you have an unused offer. They're going to get notifications that look like that. Pretty cool, right? It's a kind of a pretty cool little product create. This given page, oh, sorry, I just created the page. I didn't turn on offers. Okay, so on a side note, we'll come back to this, but you got to go back into the fan page and turn on your fan page for offers. And I think they say that your fan page must have 100 fans in order to have offers. So, sorry, I'm always used to not doing offers immediately in training. But you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point. So there you have it. You just go and then you create the offer. Okay, and then you could design a graphic right here if you want, some kind of cool stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ditch this out, and that was an offer ad. Let's go back to the objectives. Um, a video view ad, same thing. You would just upload the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but for now, what I want to do is I want to focus on picture posts and link posts. Okay, we covered a little bit of those. Picture posts and link posts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this boost your post objective right here. And we're going to go ahead and do... Um, Whatever the post is about, you're going to give it a title like Bugatti, um, Bugatti Art. That's going to be, this is going to be the name of the product, so you can always remember it. Bugatti Art. So all ads running to this, you should start with Bugatti Art, so you always remember them. And then the next one is going to be the audience you're going to go into. So I'm going to do like Bugatti Keywords, okay, for this one. Conti continue. Um, so again, my objective, just going back, my objective is, uh, is going to be product name and keyword name that I'm going after. And you can always change this later, okay? So now I've got audience placements, budget, and schedule. Okay, so what you're gonna do over here is, um, I'm gonna target people in the United States for now because it's a product I want them to purchase. And I'm gonna target all ages because I'm gonna go general. Um, I don't know, I'll probably, I usually always target 21 because I find 18 year olds don't really buy stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go broad at first. Now I'm going to target men because this is a man cave site. Are women also interested in this? Sure, but again, you got to know your demographic. I'm going to target men, 21 to 65 in the United States. Now that's 88 million people, so I got to narrow this down. Okay, that's where detailed targeting comes in. So I'm going to type in Bugatti, okay, and I'm going to look for interests, not employers, interests. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how big my audience is. 3.3 million people. Now a lot of people will argue that's too big of an audience, and it might be. It all depends on how much money you want to spend. If you have some money and you have time to wait it out, what I will probably do, and this is important for you guys to follow along, what I would probably do is um, go very, very broad like this, knowing my first $100 or $200 I'll probably lose. Now, some of you probably don't have that money to lose, so you can't take as risky of a strategy. But see, for me, I can go right in here to these Bugatti audiences, and I can basically buy data. I can go in and spend $100 or $200, and I can buy data. I can start to see you know, a lot of details about the people that are clicking through. So then I can, I can go broad and then narrow it later, okay? But, um, and then also I can wait it out. By, by being willing to go, to go to a big audience, I can let Facebook's conversion pixel, which should be on your site here, every time a sale is made, it tells Facebook that a conversion was made and Facebook will start, um, will start getting smarter about who to show my ad to. So I can take a big general audience like this and I can actually be successful with it because I have money to ride out. Now, if you don't have money to write out, you're going to have to narrow down this audience, okay? So you got to, you got to kind of narrow this down. So, you know, you got to look and say what, what other kind of keywords um, are related to Bugatti. So I've got Bugatti here, Bugatti there. This second one I'm just using to kind of see, like, what are some other, what are some other related terms that Bugatti gives me, okay? And I'm not seeing, like, like, ones that I like. So let me do this. Let me do Bugatti. Okay, here's one, Bugatti Veyron, Bugatti Royale. So there's types, automobile types. Okay, so when you when you type in something, okay, when, when you go in and you do detailed targeting, right? When you type in something, oh sorry, I put it in the wrong one. You got Bugatti up here, and let's do the let's do now models here in their audience. You got the main interest up here. Down here, let's look for sub-interests. Bugatti 
Veyron, or Veyron. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce all that stuff. So now I've just narrowed it from 3.3 million people to 2.2. So I've got everybody interested in Bugatti and everybody interested in Bugatti Veyron. Veyron okay? So this is an example of like a second level of an interest. So I'm narrowing it down. What my goal is, my sweet spot is going to be 200,000 to 800,000 people here. Okay? So this is going to be my sweet spot. And so I'm still looking for people maybe interested in Bugatti. Okay, so let's see if I can see if I can kind of type this in. Let's see what other kind of related search is coming up. Bugatti automobiles, Bugatti fashion, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so it's just all this kind of stuff, right? Um, maybe there's like a Bugatti Bugatti club, maybe not. You know, so Bugatti Bugatti owners. It's not a really big. There's probably not a lot of people that are Bugatti owners. Um, so Bugatti might be a little bit different than one, but let's just go Bugatti automobiles. And let's just start. Uh, sorry, I put it up there again. My bad. I keep keep doing the wrong thing here. Um, narrow further. Let's go Bugatti um, automobiles. Let's see if what I can do there. Let's see, boom, boom. Interests. Let's see how low it gets. 400,000 people. Okay. So that's good. That's in my sweet spot. So what I did was I basically took Bugatti, and it must also match Bugatti Veyron, who also matches Bugatti automobiles. And I got somebody who basically matches all three of these. So what I've done is I'm detail targeting. Somebody must match all three of these words which makes them a little bit more of a loyal, passionate Bugatti fan. And I've got an audience that's a little bit nicer. So again, this is still going broad, 400,000 people, but it's, but it's a lot nicer of an audience if you're trying to sell something directly. So there's my audience, there's my potential reach. And that's how I was able to drill down. You know, what we're doing is we're talking about like tips to drill down and find the perfect audience, okay? We're drilling down. And, this, and, and what you do is you kind of like just look for, look for keywords. So what I've done is I've found three different types of keyword sets, Bugatti, Bugatti models, and then just straight Bugatti automobiles, and I've made sure they have to match each one. And I can narrow it even further if I needed to. If this was still in the millions, I'd narrow it even further. But this allows me to kind of dive down deep and be able to kind of find some good audiences, okay? So pretty cool, pretty cool way to be able to do that. Um, again, I could always save this audience as well. If I wanted to always come back to it, I can save it. So now let's go down to placements. Um, you've got automatic placements, and you've got edit placements. Now. Um, Generally, I like to go broad, okay? I like to see what Facebook optimizes, but for most of the case, you're going to probably cut out Instagram. Until you, know, until you know a little bit more about what you're doing, you're probably going to want to cut out Instagram. Plus, we didn't take the time to build an Instagram page for this. So when you go to edit placements, you're most likely going to want to um, just have these two unchecked. And then for Facebook, you know, really you have your feeds and your right column, okay? Feeds is going to be your, your desktop feed and your mobile feed, and the right column is going to be the little blocks on the right side. So these are the kind of the two areas. Um, I'll just let Facebook um, optimize those. Okay, so that's usually I just have these two checked. Okay, edit placements until you get a little bit. Once you get a little bit bigger, you're gonna have an Instagram set up, and you're also gonna have an audience network available. And then you're gonna like, I like to run one ad to each actually. Like I'll run like a five dollar. I'll run this same ad five dollars a day to audience network, five dollars a day to Instagram, five dollars a day to right column, five dollars a day to mobile feed, five dollars a day to desktop feed. But again, once you have money, you can do that. Okay, so you got to kind of start somewhere. Now notice it brought down my, my potential reach to 150,000 people here. So I've got, this is, this is it's, it's brought my, down my reach a lot. So 150,000 people that I can reach, which is good. That's a good size audience. Now daily budget, I like to always start with $5 ads. That's just my preference, okay? Um, and now you can, you know, when you're a beginner, you know, you can just run your ads continuously. But if you have limited money and you don't want to forget, you might need to start and stop your ads. So you might need to say, okay, well, I, I can't just, what if I forget? This ad's gonna run whatever, it's gonna run for this amount of days. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose an end time of maybe, you know, that many days or whatever. And then you're maybe gonna start create a start time that's maybe a little bit a little bit better of a start time. You know, maybe you want to start your ads early in the morning. So maybe you're gonna have this ad start um, Thursday, you know, maybe like 5 a.m. or whatever. It doesn't even really matter. Okay, there's a lot of different things. But now you got this ad starting tomorrow at 5 a.m. and it's gonna to run till oh sorry, December 24th. It's going to run till Saturday, okay? So your ads will run for two days. Maybe I'll get, run it a little bit longer, okay? You'll spend no more than $21. So there's $21 for me to figure out if this is going to work or not. Um, but again, once you kind of get good, I like to let my ads run continuously and just let them run. But you can always go in and edit these and change them. But that's what a lot of people do is they'll kind of, they'll kind of do something like this, okay? So another way to do it is a lifetime budget. So I can do the same thing, and I could say maybe like I'm going to, I want a lifetime budget of $20 for this, okay, and um, the budget for this is, is must be at least $31, okay, I don't know why it has to be $31, but let's just put that, 
Oh, because the dates, I think. Got it. So what you want to do is you're going to go, okay, if I'm going to do $5 a day, let's go back and let's do this again. $5 a day starting Thursday at 5 a.m., going to, let's say, the 26th at 5 a.m. Um, your ad will run. You'll spend up $31 total. Okay, you can start to see how many days that is, right? So it's going to run 22, so 23, 24, 25, 26, right? So it's going to run for four days. I think that I could put 20 now. Let's see. Yeah, so I could. You'll spend $20 total. So this $20 will also be kind of broken down over those five days, over those four days. So I'll be spending about $5 a day. So that's another way to get to the same $5 a day objective. You're going to do a daily budget of $5 and then give it a stop time, and it'll tell you. Um, or you can actually do a lifetime budget, same kind of thing. It'll use up those twenty dollars. Doesn't really matter. You can do either one. You can experiment with them. See what works for you. I just like spending about five dollars a day. Optimization. Um, you know, basically, I just stick with post engagement because what's going to happen is that you're paying for engagements to your um, post, which is likes and shares and comments um, and tagging your friends and stuff like that. You're paying for that engagement um, and clicks. And that's really what you want. You want engagement because when, when somebody shares your post, you're getting free traffic. So you really like engagement. That's usually the way you want to do it. I always just let Facebook set it all. I never do manual. I just let Facebook. Face, when you learn how to do this right, Facebook's going to be a lot smarter with this. When you, get char when you get charged, I mean, look, you can just leave this the same. You can get charged for post engagement. You can get charged per impression. It doesn't really matter. You can split test both. I've done so much testing here, and I don't really have after – you know, over $100,000 at least in testing of just these two splits. I don't really, it's, it's six one way, half a dozen the other. Really what's happening is Facebook is optimizing it for you. Um, ad scheduling, you can schedule your ad for specific hours. I just let that go. We already scheduled it up here, start and stop time. Delivery type standard, I just do that and we're good to go. Now for the ad set name, um, usually I'll, add, I'll, I'll create like an ad set for whatever my, my um, keywords are. So this one right here would be like Bugatti keywords, men, you know, 21 to 65, something like that. Um, you know, and I might even put like Bugatti keywords, three, three layers or three matches, you know, just so I know. Bugatti keywords, three matches, men, 21 to 65. So there's, now I've got a, I've got a, a savings for this right here. I, I know what my set, ad set name is. So if I'm placing 100 ads, I can really easily look and go, oh, that's what, that's what this ad is about. That's who this ad is targeting. So it kind of gives me an idea. Maybe I want to know which, I look at 10 ads and I want to see which one's performing the best. And I can, at a glance, I can see all this ad set names. Now I'm going to continue. Um, I can either create a new ad, which is going to, I can make it unpublished, or I can use an existing post. Remember in this example, we're going to use an existing post. I'm going to go here, search pages for man cave. And man cave is going to then find posts. Okay. Now, there's this post, which was the, the link post, or there's the one that's the picture post right here. This one is the picture post. See? So what I've got here is I've got um, a picture post. I can preview what it looks like on desktop, and I can preview what it looks like on mobile. Now, one key thing here is you want to make sure that it doesn't say read more. So if your description was too long and you're previewing it in mobile feed, it'll say read more. The problem is that if it says read more, that means that um, – that just for them to click the read more button is going to count as a, it's going to, Facebook charges you for that too. So only do that if you're doing, if you're going to do a very long story. If you're going to put a lot of sales copy in here, that's the only time. But if you can, if, you, if, if it's, if you're clicking to read more and it just barely opens it, you would have been better off making this shorter so it's all available here in the mobile news feed. So there you go. I basically came in and previewed my post on desktop and mobile. That's what it looks like. Um, you know, there's your man cave expert. Select a page post. Um, we'll get into URL parameters. That's advanced. We'll have to cover that another time. Don't worry about that. And then tracking conversions from Facebook pixels. We're not going to cover that today. Um, but you can essentially create conversion pixels. Um, we didn't create one for Bugatti, but what I would do is I would basically create a man cave conversion pixel. We'll have to do that on another webinar, another time. There's not enough time in the day to do every single thing, but I would create a man cave pixel. The man cave conversion pixel would go on this site, uh, on the thank you page. So I would have Every single visitor to the site, a pixel would fire, and I'd be able to retarget them. And then every single buyer, everybody who, or sorry, everybody who added this to cart, so see, add to cart, um, when somebody goes and adds this to cart like this, then I can have a pixel fire right now. A pixel fires off. It's a piece of code, and it tells Facebook that the customer added it to the cart. So now I have an add to cart pixel, so I know, okay, Facebook, optimize this ad for people that 
add this product to their cart. So now Facebook will get smarter. If I send a thousand people to this product and a hundred of them add it to their cart, Facebook will start targeting more people that add it to their cart. This is a good place to start. It's a Facebook conversion pixel called add to cart and that's a good place to start. And then of course when I check out and I actually pay, there's going to be a, a confirmation page, a thank you page, and then that can actually be purchases. There's another website conversion pixel that can track purchases and that's when Facebook gets really smart. When you have like a thousand customers or two thousand customers, Facebook knows exactly what kind of customers to start targeting for you. So just like that, boom, that's that. So let me come in here and then you just um, then you just place the order. Okay, then process the order. And then there you go. Now your order has been placed. Um, and then what you do is you can go ahead and continue and it'll show it'll bring you um, to your ads manager where you can start to see the stats of what's going on with this ad. Okay, you've got you know you've got your campaign, Bugatti Art, targeting Bugatti, Bugatti keywords. You've got zero, zero, zero. Right now it's pending review, and pretty soon this will this will be an active um, post. And then I can kind of start to see the stats of this. Okay, so you're just getting started. Okay, if I'm going to click on this, I can I can go in and change stuff too. Now you don't want to make many edits. Okay, in another in another video tutorial somewhere else we'll talk about when do you pause it, when when is it when an ad's working good, how do you scale it. Um, you want to be careful. Don't make too many changes because then it will have to go through pending review again. Okay, um, and then when something starts working really well, you want to know how to kind of scale it out. Um, we're going to have to talk about that. There's lots of cool stuff to talk about. So now we've had a little bit of fun um, with ads. I want to take you to a new section, and I want to show you inside of Ads Manager, there's a section. If you go to All Tools, click on this and go to All Tools, you're going to notice a little section over here called Audiences. This is uh, There's actually two places, Audience Insights and Audiences. Okay, so just make reference of audience insights and audiences. This is, these are places you're gonna do some research. So let's jump over here to audience insights. And this is a place where you can just kind of come in here and you can start to do some research on whatever audience you're really looking to kind of get into. So if I've got a man cave site, I need to start doing some research um, on you know, what, what kind of keywords are people interested in when it comes to man caves? I mean, I have no idea, right? So if, I'm, if, I've, if I've got this site, this man cave site or whatever, um, and I've got a man cave fan page and I've got all this stuff going on, I need to try to figure out what keywords um, are people interested in. So I'm gonna go over here to interest, I'm gonna type, so I'm, in, I'm inside of audience insights and there's just a lot of stuff I can do, okay? I can add countries, United States, um, I can mess with ages and genders, you know, let's say it's 21 uh, to any age. Um, men, let's go in here to men. And um, you know what's interesting is, you know, you can really dive in a lot here, but let's go to interest. We've just typed in an interest. Connections is, is just if they're connected to one of your pages. You don't need to worry about that. Um, advanced, you can really kind of dive in and, 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 and get even deeper. We're not going to dive into all this, but um, what you really are looking to do is just kind of go in here and start to see a little bit about your audience. So um, United States men 21 and over that are interested in man cave. Okay. There is one, 1 million to 1.5 million monthly active people. Okay, so this will kind of give you an example. Like, let's delete this man cave one and let's type in like um, billiards or something like that. Um, so, billiards itself, and there's all these different types of billiards keywords, right? So, billiards themselves has all of these. So, rack billiards, billiards, um, pool cue sports. Okay, you can kind of try to find like the right one, pool, pool Q sports. So like this, 4 million to 4.5 million monthly active people that are men 21 and above. So even though my audience is man cave, on my man cave site, I might have a category um, and my category might be, um, there's all kinds of cool stuff I could do, right? So my cat, one, I might have one section that's like billiards that I really, um, I really have a bunch of like billiard stuff because a man cave might have a, a, a pool table in it. So then I can go, and a man cave might have like motorcycle stuff or whatever. So you start to think of all the different types of things that could be here. So let's start with billiards. Man cave, um, I'm gonna go in here and, and I'm gonna start kind of brainstorming, if you will. So let's let's kind of go in here. Let's, um, example, um, example, man cave. Um, let's do interest, man cave. And then let's do interest, uh, billiards. Okay, and then here's what I want to do. I want to I want to have some fun with you guys that are live. 
So what I'm doing is I have a site that's about man cave. I need to find some good interests that people would be interested in, things people would be interested in. What associations might they join? What might, be, what might they be interested in? What TV shows might they watch? What might these men be interested in that has as much to do with man cave as possible? So right now what I want you to do is go inside the comments. If you're watching live, go inside the comments and give me some examples of interests of what your man cave audience might be, might be interested in and I'll type them in and we'll look at it. Now while you guys are giving me those live on the spot, um, I can also kind of see people that are interested in, in, in uh, billiards, pool, cue sports, Look at some of this other stuff they're interested in, right? So you got all these lifestyle things that they're interested in, their relationship status, their education, their job titles. You go over here to page likes, okay? And you can start to learn. You can start to dive in your audience. People that are interested in billiards, um, it's not giving me whatever reason. It should give me more. There's a problem lo loading this chart. Well, normally you can go in here and you can actually uh, figure out, see what pages they also like. I have no idea why it's deciding at this exact moment not to show me these page likes. Okay, so let's go down here to interest. Cool Q Sports. Um, yeah, it's just going slow, huh? Whatever. It's deciding, um, this is deciding to go very, very, very slow for me, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can start to see all kinds of stuff about them. Like, you can start to see, okay, people that are interested in um, pool are also interested in things like FanDuel, the website FanDuel, okay, or Garage, Garage Valvoline, 8-Ball Pool. Um, World Series of Poker. So now I'm starting to think, what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to get ideas. Okay, so interests, poker, interest, um, uh, let's say, uh, you know, let's say interest, do it yourself, uh, do it yourself projects. Okay, interest, and you can start to see like what are things people are interested in. So let me go over to your comments right now, live in the questions, and let me see. Okay, here's what some of you guys are doing. Let's say beer. Home brewing. Okay, interest. Um, let's see what else you guys got. Fantasy football. Okay, let me just stop putting the interest here. You guys get it, right? So we'll do man cave. Instead, what we'll do is we'll do it like this. Hold on, let me make this a little bit neater for you guys. So get a little bit of a better. So what we're doing is we're brainstorming right now, deep diving on interest. So what I want to do is this. Man cave has these, and we'll dive in further. If, some, if one of these has a breakout section, we'll do something like that. Okay, so fantasy football. Uh, let's see what else you guys got for me. Okay, um, we got muscle cars, video games, cigars, and then somebody says humidors. That's in the cigars field. Um, Daniela, yes, what you're writing is showing up. Hunting. Um, uh, TV shows. Let's do TV show uh, TV shows here. Uh, you guys said pawn stores or whatever that TV show is called. So if you guys have more more stuff there, okay, gambling. Um, for poker. World Series, World Series of Poker. Um, let's do electronics, then televisions, and then home theaters. You guys see how fun this gets when you kind of get into it? It gets really, really fun. Um, sports, you know, you got football, um, baseball, basketball. Hockey, UTC, and then for football you have things like fantasy football. Here's that up there. Okay, you got NASCAR. Um, for video games you also have arcade games, um, pinball games. Beer pong games. I'm just going through a lot of your stuff that you're doing. Um, sports. There's also there's also let's just do another category called hobbies, and let's do that's what I'll put hunting, fishing. You know, try to get like man. You're trying to get like man hobbies, not just of course men in general are interested in a lot of hobbies. Okay, so fishing, um, pool, cue sports, 
That's billiards. Okay, which we had right there. And then we can put poker down there. Hobbies. Poker. World series of poker. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? What I'm doing is I'm basically making a brainstorm list. Okay, so now what I've got is I've got um, examples of audience. Um, you know, so what you're doing is you're brainstorm as many ideas about your niche as you can. Um, organize them into categories on your store. Fill them with general products to sell in each category. And then, then deep dive to find good interests in each keyword. Okay, so that's what you're using this term like, that's what you're using like this audience insights for. But once you've kind of, once you've dove in and you've kind of start to, start to do your research, you know, once you start to see all this kind of stuff that people are interested in, you start to get more ideas. Once you've got the ideas, what I want you to do is I want you to come over to the other audience tool. Go over to this one, audiences. Not audience insights, but audiences. This is where you're actually going to create audiences. Okay, so over here, you're going to come in here and you're going to create audiences. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to create audience, and you're going to do create saved audience. Create audiences, create saved audience. Now, on this one, we're going to go ahead and do like, let's do uh, pool, Q sports, um, general. Pool Q Sports uh, General or big. Okay, let's do Pool Q Sports big. Okay, so we're going to start really, really big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just US. Maybe I'll do big US. Okay, and I'm going to go um, 21. And the reason that this is a man cave, we're going to be talking a lot about beer and a lot about that kind of stuff. I don't want to run any risk uh, with 18 and under. Men 21 years older in the United States, and then detail targeting right here. Let's type in Pool Q Sports. Okay. And there's an interest, and let's just go broad right off the bat. So here's 5.9 million, 6 million people. In fact, let me rename this. Audience name. Let's go Man Cave Pool Big U.S. Men 21 plus, and then maybe how big the audience size is. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to add a bunch of these. When I typed in pool Q sports, all I got to do is click my mouse here, and it's going to start recommending more interest to me. Billiards, eight ball, nine ball, Q sports, pool billiards games, billiards tables, billiard ball. See this? Billiard room, Q sticks. So I'm going to go in, and, and, and if I'm not sure, I might have to do a little bit of research as to how many of these are, are, are really good or not. Pool and billiard magazine, World Pool Billiard Association. World Professional Billiards Association. You guys, by the way, we've already, just by doing this, we've already dove into like level three uh, niches here. These are great ones. Women's Professional Billiards Association. Now it's women. We're, we're targeting men, but, but still you can choose it because it doesn't matter. We're, we're narrowing it down to men anyways. United States Professional Pool Players Association. International Billiards Snooker Federation. Billiards Digest Magazine. Three Cushion Billiards. Now look what happens. So what I'm doing is I'm using this as a big generic audience. Billiards Congress of America. America. I don't know if that's, see, I don't even know if that's it. So I'm only going to choose things I know for now. Um, USA Pool League, uh, a Q company, World Pool Master. So what's happening is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to get so many interests here. Okay, so many. Billiards Federation, Playing Pool, um, eight, eight Ball Association, PoolDog.com. So now you can start to see there's just so many. Ozone Billiards. And now I can really, if I want to, I could even do some research. What I might do is I might go over here to Google and I might type in um, billiards brands. And let's go, let's like look at this one here. Okay, pool cues by brand, action cues, Adam cues, Athena cues. So what I'll do is I'll go back now and see what happens if I do that. Action cues. See what's there? Nope. So you can kind of just go in and go, okay, what were the other ones? Adam cues, Athena cues, um, Q Tech. Okay, so you can kind of go and see if there's any of these. Athena cues. Q Tech. And you kind of go. And it doesn't matter if there's not. These are these might be small brands. Okay? You can go in and you can you can do like I don't know, Harley Davidson cues, who knows? You can maybe go through here, but this is how you start doing even more research. I don't know enough about this to know what the big brands are, so I don't think I'm gonna jump right into this. But eventually, that's how you can start to find them. And another way to find them is to start doing this too. 
cues. Okay, you can just start to type in um, right here cues. I don't know why it's not doing that. Let's narrow down the audience. Here we go. Cues, predator cues. See this? Um, and then there's just a bunch more. So, anyways, you guys get what I'm saying, right? What you're essentially looking for is a big audience here of all kinds of people looking interested in pool. And then as soon as you have the, as soon as you have like your audience and it's pretty good, go over here, do 6.7 million, and put it right there. So now I've got man cave, which is my my store category pool, or I might want to do billiards if it's easier for me to remember, in case I might have swimming pool stuff. Billiards, big, just mean that might be my keyword for hey, this is my broad one or broad. U.S. men 21 to 65. Six, or 21 to 65 plus 6.7 million people. So now I've got this big broad audience, okay? And then create audience. And that's it. I just created that audience. It's right here. Man cave, billiards, broad, US men, 21 plus 6.7 million people. Now, now that I have that audience, literally anytime I want, I can just come here and I can actually create an ad from it, okay? There's a lot of stuff I can do, okay? I can go and I can create an ad from this, okay? 6.7 million people like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I can just go here, I can literally create an ad, and it's gonna automatically bring in that audience. Now, not only will it automatically bring in that audience, if I wanna create an ad this way, so let's go back to boost your, boost your posts, do the same thing, let's do man cave, let's do billiards table, uh, or sorry, billiards table, let's say, I'm selling a billiard, let's say I'm selling a billiards table, let's do billiards keywords as the audience, continue, and then watch what happens here, okay? What's going to happen is I'm going to be able to use a saved audience, okay? All of these different audiences right here, and look at this one on the bottom. Whoop, my screen's kind of flipping out. Oh, it's not letting me choose it. Oh, no. <laughs> my screen is, is tweaking, oh, but, I, but you can see it. Man cave, it's right there on the bottom. I don't know why my screen is tweaking right now. You never know. Right there. <laughs> I had to make my screen smaller for a minute. I have so many audiences. Use a saved audience. And look at this, it brought it all in. There's my audience, I can use it anytime I want. Now this is a big audience, right? This is my big broad audience because why did I do this? Because now I have, I, I know all of these individual keywords, right? So now that I know all these individual keywords, I can create, I can go in, if I, I can create like detailed ads for this. I can go back to audiences and I can go and create a new audience if I want to saved audience, and I can do any one of these keywords. Okay, I can go in here, whoops, messed up there. Let me go back to audiences. Um, date created, date created. Okay, man cave. So just like this, this, um, this audience right here, if I even want to now I can edit this, and I can go and I can actually create even more audiences. Okay, so watch this. From this main audience, I go in and edit. Now watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna narrow it down by, let's call it narrow it down by one of these. World Pool uh, Billiards Association, okay? Um, and by narrowing it down a little bit, I just got to 2,900 people instead of whatever million, right? 2,900. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this now. I've got all these big ones, and now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go up. I'm gonna keep adding associations until I get up to about 200,000 to 800,000. Okay, World, World Pool Billiard Association. Let's keep adding them. United States, you can kind of see these are small ones, 6,900. I'm looking for, let me just add a few more. American Pool Player Association. Okay, let me add some. Smaller ones. Where am I at? 86,000. I'm looking to get to 200,000, 800,000 here. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing like magazines and associations, not like playing billiards. Magazines and associations, right? So I'm gonna kind of look for some more, um, whatever it might be, and I'm just kind of going going with what they're doing. Now, I might even do like billiards magazine and see if it, see if it comes up. Okay, there's that way to do it. There's also, I can look up here, and I can kind of look at some of these ones that I have up in this one up here. International billiards, maybe, so I can type to international billiards. United States billiards, so United States Pool players, you can, United States pool, and you can kind of see what else is in there. You know, you could do pool players, and you start to you start to get a way to be able to dive in deep. You know, pool players, but what you're really looking for is you're looking for big words. So that's essentially what I'm looking to do here, is I'm looking to kind of see. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, let's see, let's do 
pool and billiard. Pool and billiard, that's an, like another one I could do. Pool, uh, pool and billiard, sorry, but the and symbol might be, might be an exact match. Pool and billiard. Pool and billiard history, not a bad one. Um, eight ball league association. So there's all kinds of cool ones, but you don't want to do this one. 72 million, that'll bring it up too much. Okay, so here I'm, I'm at 90,000. So with a little bit more work, I can, I can get there. Okay, with a little bit more work. Maybe I'll grab ozone billiards, see how high that gets to 100,000. Let me maybe grab a couple more. Um, looking for something over here on the right. I'm looking for something good. Billiards Congress of America. Brought me up to 110,000. You see, I'm really just trying to get it to about 200,000. So this is the thing. This is how you deep dive. You know, I'm looking for something over here that has maybe 100 to 200,000. Okay, so scroll down really quick. That has too many. 1.8 million. 13,000 Mustang pool table. Brunswick Billiards, get a couple more of these. World Masters Pool Tournament, maybe Shooting Pool. 120,000, so you see I'm working my way up. And now what I'm doing is I'm really creating this like sub audience. Let's just do this one. Now save as new. Now watch this, before I save as new. This one right here is now 120,000. And so Man Cave Billiards, and now this one's gonna be um, mixed. Man Cave Billiards mixed, or I might do like whatever it is, magazines, or whatever my, my sub niche was, or whatever. Men, 21 plus, 120,000 people. So now I have it at a glance, 120,000 people, and I'm gonna go save as new, okay? And just like that, save. And there you go, save that as new. And you can kind of go, and you can kind of see now, I've got, my, I've got my Man Cave Billiards mixed, and I've got my Man Cave Billiards broad. So what this allows me to do is this allows me to create one big audience, Use that as a guideline to create lots and lots of small audiences between like 200,000 to 800,000 people, which are going to be my target audiences, and I'm going to really get creative. And that's just for, so I've got Man Cave Billiards. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and keep doing the same thing again, but this time it's going to be Man Cave instead of Man Cave Billiards. Um, and if you, if you don't want to do the renaming convention, it's actually really easy to do this. Just click on this one, and then click Edit. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this one something new, Man Cave Instead of billiards, let's do man cave. Um, let's go back to our list really quick and see some of our words. Let's do man, pay, man cave. Um, let's do man cave home brewing. Okay, so now I'm back here again. Man cave home brewing. Okay, and then we're going to do broad US men 21. We don't know what the total is going to be yet. So now I've got a new a man cave home brewing. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all these by hitting the X at the top. And I'm going to take out all these by hitting the X to the top. And now I've got 21, so I've got the same naming convention, but I'm on the bottom, I'm just going to save it as a new. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go broad, so I'm going to get as many things as I can related to homebrewing. Same thing, I'm going to type in homebrewing, choose interests, and then start going through this. Craft beer, craft beers, craft beer and brewing, microbrewery, craft brews, brewery, um, you know. And I might even go, you know, I, the question is how, how close do I want to do home brewing or do I want to do, maybe I want to do um, just beers broad or maybe I want to do craft beers. Now that I'm looking at it, I might want to go craft beers. Craft, 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 craft. And so I can leave all these in here and then what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to take out anything that's not craft beer. I'm going to leave these in here try to find more craft beer related terms. I love craft beer, craft beer. Kind of go in and look for anything with craft. and do a big craft beer, craft beer locator. It doesn't matter if these are small. Just looking for things that are craft beer related. Okay, so I've got a bunch, right? Now what I'll do is I will, um, see this is a purchasing behavior, I'm gonna take that out. I only want interests, interest, 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 interest. Now I'm gonna take out anything that's not craft beer. Craft, 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 right? So this is behavior, so I don't want that. Now let's see what happens if I just type in craft beer. Ladies of Craft Beer, American Craft Beer Week. So let's just start grabbing a bunch of these. Craft Beer, um, American Craft Beer Week. See, now I'm starting to get into really diving down to these small ones. These are gonna come in handy when you're, when you're really looking to target. Cause see, look at all these weeks, Craft Beer Week. These aren't gonna make up many audience, but if you add them all to a thing, right? So let's even do like Craft Beer Week, Chicago Craft Beer Week, and, and you can always take this out later. So if this is getting in your way, it's it's bothering you. You can always do that. And right now I'm just pasting really fast. 
craft beer wheat. Okay, so let's see what else we got for craft beer. Connecticut craft beer news. Tacoma craft beer festival. So now there's, you see what they're doing? Great tasting craft beer interest. Even though these are small, I'm going to add them in because they're, they're just helping me, you know, they're helping me find more things. Okay, so I pretty much, for the, for the, mo for the most part, maxed out craft beer keywords here. Now I'm going to take out this one. And let's see what the audience is. 530,000 people. Okay, so craft beers, broad, 530,000 people. Man cave, craft beers, broad, men, 21 plus, 530,000 people. That's all craft beer stuff. Save it as a new. Save. And then let's go back to our audiences. And there's their man cave, craft beers one. Okay, so let's click on this. Let's edit it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. So that's man craft beers, broad. Now let's do like maybe something like this. like. Go to Google and do craft beer brands. Okay, so now 100 American craft beers lovers should drink. So maybe, you know, something like that. Maybe we'll do like popular, popular craft beers. So you can start to see, you know, the best beer from America's 50 biggest craft breweries. So maybe what I'm looking for is the big ones because they might have an actual following and an actual interest. Okay, so. Now I can kind of go in here and I could do this one. I can do, um, I could dive in and go deep and create these audiences. This is before even placing ads. Now I'm going to do craft beer brands broad. Okay. I'm going to erase this because I don't know what the audience is going to be at. Craft beer brands. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch all this and I'm going to do detailed targeting and I'm going to start taking some of these right here, like Yingling Brewery. Okay. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to do Yingling. And I can start to see. I don't know. I don't know enough to know. If DC Yingling and Sun is is the one. So let's d.g. Yingling. So I'm gonna have to do a search because I don't know enough about this, right? D.g. Yingling is probably the one. It looks like it is. It's showing up. D.g. Yingling. So that's just the official name for it. So yes, that is the one. Okay. So there we got d.g. Yingling and Sun. So now we have Yingling as a brand there. Now look what happens. It's gonna start showing us brewing companies. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into these brewing companies, um, and I could even title this, you know, instead of craft beer, I could actually do, you know, if I want to, I could do brewing companies, or I could do craft beer brands. Sorry, I could do craft beer brands, or I could just do brewing companies. Now, in this case, I don't. If I knew more about what craft beer is, like I know Stone Brewing Company is a craft beer. You want to make sure you don't get too generic. I don't know if Sierra Nevada is a craft beer, for example. So if you're going to do craft beers, you're going to need to know which one of these are legit. So that's where having a list like this is helpful. You know, Boston Beer Company. So now what I can do is I can do a little bit more like this. Boston Beer. And maybe that's Samuel Adams is probably what the Boston Beer Company is. Um, da, 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 and then you got Sierra Nevada. So Sierra Nevada is. <clears throat> and so there was Sierra Nevada. And, you know, these are all probably, at the end of the day, these are all probably, um, I don't drink enough right now craft beer to know, but let's just say these all are. And so you see, you got a little bit of research. The next thing you know, you're adding all these breweries and all these brewing companies. Okay. Now you could even go as far as to do a search for brewing company and then highlight and copy that. And so every time you add one, you can actually just press paste, add one, paste, add one, paste, add one, paste, add one, paste. And then you can do that. And then you can go through and either delete ones that are not craft beer or whatever, but you could also just do these as like brewing companies to make it even simpler. Brewing companies, broad, okay? So just like that, you got all these brewing companies, brewing companies, same thing, brewing company. Look at how many I can grab. Just look at how look at how deep of an audience I'm going to be able to get by doing this. See what I'm doing? I'm just going to keep doing this. Brewing company, I'm going to grab all of these that end with brewing company right here. Only the, uh, oh, sorry, these are employers. So I don't, I don't want to dive into employers now. Just interests. So it looks like I tapped out the interest for Brewing Company. Now let's go down to, to Brewing Co., which I see some of these have. Founders Brewing Co., okay? So Brewing Co. Dot is going to bring up all of these now. So now let's go in and let's add in all of these. Paste. See what I'm doing here? I'm really showing you guys the de a detailed way to be able to do this. This is like the smart way. And notice I'm not even placing ads. What I'm doing is I'm building my audience. I'm building, I'm building a bunch of audiences that I can start to really dive into my niche. 
And ultimately, you're going to want to learn this stuff because this is how you deep dive. And this is this is where this is the difference between amateurs and pros when it comes to Facebook ads. Now, I'm not even going to do like an ad to this whole entire thing. You'll see what you'll see when you dive down and you make small audiences. This what your what your goal is is your goal is to get many audiences. Like look at how I'm doing here. Look at how look at how cool this is. I just grabbed all of these. Okay. Now, no more showing up. Now I could even probably do like brewery. I mean, who knows? I mean, I could go even deeper. But like just right here. Look at all of these interests that I just got. Okay, it'll take up to 30 minutes to calculate the size. So they're not wanting to give me the size. So I don't know the size yet. I'm just going to put question, 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 and I'll get that later. So now I've got brewing companies, man cave brewing companies broad. Okay, save as new. Save. It's just so cool. Now size looks like it might be 530,000. 30, we'll have to go back and we'll have to see. Nope, 2.6 million. So now that that's 2.6 million, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit this and make it 2.6 million update. Okay, you guys see where I'm going with this? Man Cave can now have like an unlimited amount of audiences here, okay? Man Cave, Man Cave, Man Cave, look at this. And now what I'm doing is I get these broad audiences like 6.7 million and I'm gonna drill it down to a bunch of audiences that are like 200,000, 800,000 or whatever. And then I'm gonna go with brewing companies, 2.6 million, and I'm gonna drill it down to a few audiences that are 200,000, 800,000. I'm gonna keep doing this. So I've got the broad audience, and then I've got little audiences. And I'm gonna do this for really every single category that I have in my Man Cave site, because this is gonna allow me the opportunity to be able to have a full arsenal of advertising potential. This is what's gonna make me an advanced player in the game, and it's gonna really help me. And so now, anytime I want, like I said, all I, all I gotta do is create an ad, and you know, boost the post, you know, example, and it's gonna be right here, saved audience, Bam, right on the, you scroll way down the bottom, there's all your man cave audiences, okay? Again, it's doing my little tweak thing, which kind of sucks. I don't know why it's doing that. There it is, now I can see it. So, then I can choose, like, look at all these audiences, man cave, man cave, man cave, man cave. I can choose any one of these I want at any time and use it just like that, okay? Pretty cool. So, that right there is really how to be able to um, find audiences that convert like crazy.